Hey guys, in today's video, I'll show you some tips for using the step build and the conform tool in 3ds Max. So let's go to class. Here, I have a shoe that was created using 3ds Max and we are going to create some details using these two tools. First, let's use the step build. We'll select the back of the shoe. I'm going to create a detail in this part of the model. Here, we open the tool panel. In drawing, we'll change it to draw in surface. And just below in the pick option, we are going to select our object where we're going to create the detail. Now, let's go to poly draw and create a new object. We can close this tab and select the step build. I usually increase the offset value so that we don't have any problems with the mesh crossing the object in the skin. This value is already a knot. Let's go to the back view and create the detail. With the tool selected, just click on the areas we are going to use to create the detail. It will create these blue points. Just by clicking and thus we will create the points in your mesh. Now, to create a face, just position the cursor inside an area where there are four points and hold down the shift key and click and drag a little bit and the face will be created. To create the rest of the face, just hold down the shift key and move the cursor over the points created and will be create the mesh. In addition to step building, we have the extend option. With it we create a new face from the vertices by clicking and drag. We use the Ctrl Z and by holding down the shift key we will create a new face from the edge. This way, we will speed up a retopology or detail creation process. In this case, to join the vertices, we will show the use one of the two in the Edit Geometry panel, such as Target Welds or Collapse. Returning to the step build, we have some commands that can be useful. By holding down the Ctrl K and clicking on one of the face, you can delete the created face. In this case, it's only the let the face keeping the points we created. To create a new face, just hold down the shift key, click and drag with an area with four points. So now that we have the mesh created with the step building, we use the shell to give thickness to the shape. You can adjust it according to your desires. And we will add the modifier to smoothing the shape. And so, we have our detail created very quickly using the step building tool here in 3ds Max. Now, we use the conform tool. We will create a circle in this part of the model. Let's create a new circle. Let's go to side view to create it closer to the correct area. Just click and drag and then we will position it closer to correct place. Ok, once that is done, we will convert it to editable poly. And now, to use the conform, we need to model to have a mesh inside into adaptive to surface correctly. To solve this, we use the retopology modifier. We will leave the value at 50 and click on Compute. Now, with this new mesh, we will convert it to editable poly. And we will change the surface to the mesh that we use to create the detail. Just select and click on the desired mesh. Now, let's go to Conform tool. Just click on the object and drag it until it is correctly positioned on the mesh. Very easy. Once that is done, we can add the shell again and the modifier to smoothing the shape. And then we can quickly create a new details on the surface of the model using these two tools. Step Build and Conform tools in 3ds Max. There was today's video, a tip for those that you didn't know there's tools yet. I hope you enjoyed the contents. If you want to learn how to create a shoe from scratch, I will leave the video in the card above, where I teach you how to create a shoe from scratch here in 3ds Max. See you next time. Bye!